Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. Broadcasting at 60 frames a second. Let's make sure you set it to that. Welcome to Friday. Yes. Welcome to the show. Yes. Welcome to the weekend. Welcome to you too. Welcome to Pixel, who's oh, chilling in the background we were, here. We were hoping he would pop up right there. Yeah. Because that's the cutest spot It's a very ever. nice spot for Cat, even oh. though I kind of block him a bit when I'm sitting oh, here. Oh, so cute. But yeah, he's, he's very, very sweet. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bocelli. I love this shirt. It's really, really cool. It's got a little glow around it. It's got the lines for Atari. I like it it's a lot, too. Logo. I love the rainbow, the rainbow the Atari. rainbow's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I like that a lot. So it's good Welcome, stuff. everybody, to the show. Uh, people watching live on Twitch, people watching later on mm -hmm. YouTube. Uh, we have a lot of great things tonight for you, including Night Guy Quest for Something Yee! exclusive world Very premiere for the Atari 7800. Uh, this is by Vladimir Zuniga, VHZC. Yeah. You know he always delivers the greatest games ever. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also going to be playing a game from 2005 called Robot Finds Kitten. Very cute name. Oh, Robot Finds Kitten. Oh, there there's a kitten. There's a kitten. Oh, no. Two kittens. Oh, Cat now they're both on the floor. Yeah. Oh, it's a fight. Uh, we're also going to be playing Scramble uh, by Bob Teg Teg Crescenzo. Oh, cool. Uh, who is in the chat tonight with us, Excellent. known as Pac-Man Plus. I enjoy Scramble. So if you need to see his name going by. Yes. And just for all the people who are watching tonight, mm. we have a very special sneak preview for our Twitch viewers of what's happening next Saturday, the secret special event Ooh, that I've been teasing for months and months and months. Uh, just just for the viewers. Tomorrow oh, is the actual official announcement, announcement of nice. it, but tonight I'm gonna All let everybody- you special people out there get to see it first. That's right. So yeah. the people watching on YouTube, it would already have been announced, but if you're watching live, you'll get this before anybody else. Mm. So that's very exciting. <laughs> but first I wanna say hi to everybody watching uh, live, Dan AVC, Mike Soul, Pac-Man Plus, uh, Vitoko, Dan AVC, Alan Fur, Crossbow, Miss Command, uh, who else did I see? Ground Trooper, yeah. uh, Carl G, uh, Buck Owens, thank you for subscribing. Yes. Um, Grey Defender popped in right Grey at the Defender. bottom. Did you mention? Oh, yeah. no, I missed right that. Right in the bottom there. And thank you, Mike Soul, for subscribing nice. as well. All these people. Yeah. yeah. And Neo Media. Right and Alna Fur, right at the beginning. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Grey awesome. Defender. Yep. Oh, I, I suppose to. Hello. Just snuck in. Yeah. Uh, and I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who support the show as well by subscribing. Al Nefer, Armscar Coder, Buck Owens, Cafe Man 2D. Cadillacs, Charles and Check, Coconut 81, Dianoi, Dan Evie, Pat, Fat Beavis, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC1, Urato, Jupiter Storm, Just Zanny, Carl G, Malchitos, Mark Space Inc., Matthew Lazarus, Mike Soul, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarno, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Pack Rat, VG Cohog, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Snicklin, Socrates, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The D Train, 37, The Welsh, 89, Tiki Dan Gay, and Trek MD. Lots of new names yeah, on that list. That's I love awesome. it. It's great. And yeah. you can get your name on that list as well if you subscribe. Uh, it's free if you have Amazon Prime. Link mm -hmm. it to your Twitch Prime, and away you go. And um, yeah, make sure you follow us on all the social media. Um, uh, the If you have a dragonfly, you should update it because they uh, just uh released a new firmware for it mm. that has a cool title screen when you turn it on before you load a game it doesn't have a menu mm. this is not the one that has a menu concerto has a menu but yes. the dragonfly he wanted to put a little a title screen a little startup that, screen yeah and it's the same as the ah, cool. so uh let's take a look at that so you don't it's before you load a game and you just Turn it on, then turn your 7800 on, and, um, and I'll show you what it looks like. There we go. There. And uh, so that can stay on your screen. And he said, oh, I put that on I like it. Uh, so that he has a TV. That Some people have TVs that turn off after five minutes. Oh, so I it's see. just something to have on the screen in case you're messing around with it. Gotcha. And so he put uh, representation of the label. Oh, nice. On there, yeah, yeah, which yeah. Which is yeah. really, really nice. He yeah. said, um, 
Uh, addition of startup logo and ability to enable disable it in the menu. After mm -hmm. turning the cartridge power, the graphics with the lo logo will be loaded automatically and the voltage for powering the console is given. If you start the console, the picture will be displayed until you select and approve the game to load. The graphics are not loaded from the file, they are loaded from the AVR mem memory. After updating the software, set the new function in the menu. Um, on my consoles, which are tweaked to auto start, this works very nicely. Resolved the issue with the monitor turning off automatically after five minutes of inactivity. Um, the only issue I see with that is when you do select a game to load, mm. you do have to turn off your 7800 and turn it back on after the game is loaded. Otherwise, if you just select the game to start loading, your yeah. 7800 will freak out because it doesn't know what it's looking at anymore. Oh. Right? Because that's what's loaded is the oh, I see. That title it. screen. I see, I see. So you have to turn it off and turn it back on. I don't know if he can, like, after you select a game, st automatically turn start it? Off. Yeah. Like, I don't know if he could build that build in that somehow yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. it kind of cuts off and then comes comes back on. Yeah. I don't think so because you, he can't. You have to restart it. Yeah, you have to restart way. it. Yeah. Um, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. It's a cool little title screen. And you can turn it off if you don't like it. Um, uh, there's something exciting happening at Champ Games very soon. Mm -hmm. John Champo um, sent this message to me. Oh, okay. I mean, I know what it is, but uh, you guys will uh, find out very soon. Next couple days. Um, so keep an eye on the web page or keep an eye on the Champ Games uh, social media as well. Um, and we'll uh, talk about it next episode on Tuesday. So speaking of exciting... I have a special treat, like I announced at the top of the show, just for the Twitch viewers tonight. It is a sneak preview of what is happening next Saturday, and I've prepared a little video for all of you. Um, so let's take a look at the video. That's right. It's Atari Age Day. Um, in lieu of all of the retro gaming expos mm. that Atari Age normally goes to, and they set up an, an amazing booth. Oh, yeah. It's massive. Huge booth. Yeah. Massive booth. Yeah. Because none of that's happening this year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Al and I discussed and thought that it would be good to have a virtual retro expo booth for Atari Age online. Mm -hmm. So, as you saw there, or if you were able to read that quick enough, I left it on the screen, hopefully long enough, we are going to be unboxing every single Atari Age release that's coming out. All those pre-orders mm. that uh, you saw on the page um, that people have uh, been ordering, we're going to be unboxing those. We're going to be talking to all the developers. Nice. We're going to be talking to, uh, of course, Al Yeruso right off the top. Yeah. Um, John Champo, Blue Swimmer, Muddy Funster, Mick Muse, Omega Matrix, Revan Tooley, Raymond C, Marco J, Jamtex, Dianoid, Thomas Yench, and many, many more. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be playing them briefly while we talk to the developers as we go through them and unbox them. We'll have them live chatting with us, and we're going to be uh, having uh, giveaways of the new homebrews as well. So. Make sure you tune in. It's at noon Pacific time. Mm -hmm. We're going to be much earlier so we can span all of North America and Western Europe as well, or Europe. Mm -hmm. all of Europe. <laughs> Europe. It'll be it'll be fine because it's 7 p.m. GMT okay. when it starts, okay. which is noon here. So there's 3 p.m. Nice. Uh, Eastern time. Yeah, it'll be great. Mm -hmm. um, and so yeah, tune in, set your clocks, mm -hmm. all of that. Um, <laughs> Atari Age hasn't done MGC as they don't consider it retro enough, from what I know. Midwest, well, really? I don't, I don't know. Midwest Gaming Classic. Uh, maybe it's not convenient, but I don't know. 
But I usually, we usually go to Port Portland Retro Gaming yeah. Expo. They have a huge setup there. That's our closest big retro expo. Yeah, so we we've we didn't go last year because it didn't no. exist, and it's not existing this year either. So no. it's going to be twenty twenty two until it happens Probably. again. Probably, yeah. So why not have it virtually? Yeah. And, um, and support Atari Age and their games and their Atari developers. Age. Oh, so many great games coming yeah. out. Oh my God, I can't wait I, I'm to take a look. Take <laughs> a look be a at lot those of good games. Stuff to play, so. Oh my God, yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So be here next Saturday, yeah. um, 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. GMT. We'll be talking with everyone, all the big names. Um, and speaking of big name, we're going to be diving into uh, VHZC's brand new game. Mm. Night Guy Quest for Something. We have the exclusive world Ooh. debut of this new 7800 game. Um, he posted uh, a video of it on April 13th, and he's been posting screenshots uh, of it, but we get to now play it. Thanks. I'm very, very excited. Mm. Uh, it is called... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Night Guy Quest for Something in his uh, continuation of his <laughs> the Night, Night Guy, Guy themes. Theme. Yeah. Yep. Uh, there we go. Well, thank you, Dan, for adding it to the ABC Online event listings. Oh, let's get that dragonfly off there. Okay. Let's load it up. Actually, I'll show you what happens when uh, you pick a game because it freaks out because it's like got things in its memory. Here we go. Ah, it goes crazy. And then it says it's loaded. So now, power off, power back on. And it it's works. all good. Mm. Then it's all good. Um, so this is a 144K game. Uh, this build is from April 21st, 2021. There's the night guy. Quest nice. for something. Demo 01. Oh, the VHZC looks games. Great. Looks really good. Um, the fire in the background. Yep, fire in the background and the brick wall behind That's him really in the nice. darkness. Yeah. Yep. Um, so this is kind of an adventure game. And it falls, if you played any of his platformers, it'll be very natural to you mm. what is happening in mm -hmm. here. But this is a three quarter view game. So it's very different than any other game he's yeah. made. Yeah. He's done shooters. He's done lots of platformers. Lots of platformers, yeah. Um, but this is a little bit different, more like um, Zelda-like, I guess. Yeah, right? yeah, a little bit more Zelda-like. Okay, so uh, jump into it. Which one? Yep, yep. there you go. All right, So I've got kind of an overhead, three-quarter view. Ten hit points, a blocked yep. wall. And there's your dude. Oh, okay, and there's so, nothing here. Uh, screen by screen. Yep. Gotcha. Gorgeous graphics as always, Carl G says yes. Right. <laughs> Crossbow right. says excited to find ways to break this one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we just go this one way got, or the other. Uh, now I've played a little bit of this, so I'm not going to help you in this first part. don't know what that I, is. I'm not okay. Go out of the room and come back in. I'll, I'll tell you that much. Okay. And then talk to him again. No, talk to him again. <laughs> He's got different sayings. You have to go out. It'll oh, only trigger I once. See. Ah, ah, Run! Ah, ah. Run! It's the bulby thing. So, very uh, similar kind of, uh, you know, things to, to you encounter in that. Like, that's a very VHZC thing's yeah, going that's... up and down. Oh, locked. Well, you need a key then. Interesting. Clean graphics. Oh, yeah. His, his graphics, he's got this, a style of always outlining all of his graphics. So they really, really stand out. Nice. Yeah, fire. Still got all your hit points. Now you've got a sword. Yes, thank goodness. But no key yet, so... So, um, VHZC posted this on April 15th in the forum saying, uh, yeah, until now there are three Night Guy based games for the 7800 and one work in progress for the 2600. Yeah. One completed and two in development. Night Guy Castle Days is finished and I'm currently working on its manuals. manual. Night Guy on board is in hiatus until I figure out a good final boss. And Quest for Something, that is a really early project, but now I've already coded almost all the game mechanics. Uh, you can hold the button down. 
to hold it and run. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Stab. Running, stabbing. Um, including the mid-boss battle, health recovery, and such. Uh, and I plan to release a demo when I reach 15 or so screens. That would be very soon. And I believe he's done 15 screens here. So I'm guessing he's going to be releasing a demo of this shortly after. Attack the fire! Oh, oh no. no! I didn't mean oh. to get that close. Well, now we know what. You, quite an explosion. Quite an explodey uh, night guy there. Yeah, even his armor uh, kind of explodes into meltiness. Yeah, I like it. Moonwalking. Did you do some moonwalking? Yeah. <laughs> Somehow? Oh, I see. When you have the sword out, he walks. Ah, interesting. Ooh. Oh, oh, temporary turns it on. Um, and uh, Vladimir messaged me about this uh, um, just before the show. Mm. He said, this game is not an RPG in the sense that it does not have leveling or an experience uh, system. It's more close to a Zelda game. Mm. You'll be able to increase your max health. You need items to open new areas, etc. I'm not sure if I will add a scoring system. Oh. Oh, thank you, Packrat VG, for subscribing. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, this is not going well. Not going well. I have five hit points left. Oh, my goodness. Four hit points left. <laughs> Three. Uh oh. Uh, the number of rooms will depend on oh my God. the ROM space as usual, but I hope to be able to reach at least a hundred or so. Currently there are 29. I'm really motivated with this game and I have the mental design of the whole concept. So probably this will be the second game that I'll complete this year and will be part of the Night Guy trilogy for the 7800. Let's try this again. It also has a signature VHZC sounds too. Yes, he's included some of the not have it up here. Oh yeah, it's pretty pretty loud. Just not a lot of sounds. I think when you get the sword, it uh, made a sound. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll just turn it up a bit here. Turn it up for everyone else out there. Try hitting him. Uh, try stabbing him from the bottom side to hit his eye. Mm, mm. Bottom side. Yeah, because usually in games you have to hit eyes. Yeah. I think you were hitting him. Like I it was, was hitting reacting. him. He was he was changing color ever yeah. so slightly. Which is um, good. If you make a game with a boss, make sure you do it so it's visible that you are inflicting damage on him. Yeah. Because if you're not, it's like, oh, am I hitting him? Am I getting him? Especially if there's no uh, health bar for the uh, boss. Mm -hmm. You definitely want something that has indicators. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure about that mechanic, where you can just hold out the sword and they just run into you. Well, I, I like that. <laughs> I, I mean, it's great for uh, playing, but it's a little too easy. Maybe it should only hold the sword out for like a certain length of time. I mean, in his, in his other games, he does hold, hold out the sword indefinitely. So. Mm. Maybe I should hold the sword when I'm running towards him. I think that's the problem. I was trying to stab him, oh, but I should just hold it? Yes, yes. I'll because if you again. run into him, you're going to die. Oh, don't face up. So we got our shots yesterday. Yes, we did. Right here. Um, last night was terrible. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. It was a fairly sleepless night. Uh, yeah. Um, it was uh, very achy, achy, achy. Achy, achy. Um, and I was... Uh, had chills. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah, holding it out is way better. Yeah, holding it's better. So you just have to run into them. Um, but now I'm feeling Gosh. fine. This morning, eh, a little off and on. Oh, you have to watch those hard. rocks. Uh, first shot, first shot. 
So we have to wait a minimum a month. I don't know if those go for you. <gasps> oh, hold see, up your you sword. Ran, no, I, I was, but you ran into him and he's moving. So you oh, have to move. I see. Yeah. Is he just going back and forth? Yeah. Not up and down? Okay. Ugh. Whoa. Ugh. I'm trying to figure out the pattern to the Oh, rocks. no, they just go in and out, but it's all kind of dynamic. One is close, one is far. So you just have to oh. go out every second one. Whew. You just go out, in, out, in. So there's an up, and then there's Look at a... the spiral pattern. Ooh. Yeah, I just figured out that. Hey, VH, let's see. Hello. We're playing your game. I mean, it's obvious. Oh. <laughs> it's somebody. Let me restore your health. Please do. It's a good point to restore the health after the boss. Because there's a bunch of guys over here. Yeah. Um, but we're very relieved. Oh, gosh. It is hard. To get oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Restore maybe, your health. Maybe I'm not supposed to uh, hit them. I don't know. Let's just go. Will she do it again? I don't know. I have to try it out. Let's see. Yes. Excellent. She restored your health. Excellent. Yes, it is a great game, Dan. So he says he has 35 screens in this. I haven't been counting. But... I'm just going to avoid it. <laughs> it's too hard to hit. Oh, what's this? It's interesting mm. that he has buttons for the chest rather than just the chest. I got a key. Oh, you got a key now. Back to the door. What's on this side, I wonder? Oh, Something some spikes, that some looks dangerous. walk left, walk right arrows. And, oh, I'm just gonna dodge these buddies. Oh, I don't think those can hurt you. They're no? just obstacles. Good. We'll see. Is there a backstory yet? Um, not that he sent me. Uh, VHZC, do you have a? Uh, a backstory why uh, Night Guy is here, or his quest. What is the... Oh, it's, it's the quest for something. So I don't think Night Guy knows what his quest is, right? Oh, what, what the... It? He's new? Yeah. I, oh, they were just the fire before. Yeah. Something must have triggered it. Probably the boss. Yeah, I'd follow. There we go. Those are very, very VH set scenes as well. From his, um, from his cockroach, cockroach game, Roach in Space, very, very reminiscent of some of those Got things in butt. Roach in Space. <laughs> oh, he didn't even stand a chance. I he was know. facing the wrong way. Stabbed in the butt. Uh, Crossbow says, "I think it would be funny if the something you quest for is part uh, the pet you save in Castle Days." <sighs> oh, maybe like he could find his pet in this game and then it gets taken in castle days and he has to rescue it again but that would be kind of redundant if it was the same quest in two games golden chalice the quad force <laughs> uh, i'm very bad creating backstory uh, oh was that locked that Did was you open the it? door okay. I missed that. Oh, right this would technically be the first game yeah if you uh, put them in that order but it would be very cool to tie them all in with something that you would get at the end of this game to take to the next game. Or another game that goes to this one. Ooh, spikies. Grabby spikies. Very great animation. Mm -hmm. It's kind of bouncing up and down as well. Oh, my goodness. Those random? Down, random. down. Oh, they're going... No, they're going towards you. Kind of. Okay. Kind of. Oh, I think you're in a safe spot. It thinks you're... To the right, to the left. Whoa, what just happened there? It's like the next level. You, you got the Strawn Gauntlet. Strong. The Strawn, I think it went off the screen a bit. Strong? Yeah. I think it's supposed to be Strawn. Because ah, that thing said I you're not... I can't go back. Nope, I can't go back. Oh, no. You get the pet, or the pet gets kidnapped in the second... The pet gets kidnapped in the oh, second one. I'm up a level now, I think. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, the last game would be... Uh, on board where you fight the main villain that is behind it all. You're going to go venture that way? Or did oh, you... I will. I'm... Well, eventually. I would do it now. Why? Because you're... there's only one way out. 
What? And then you have to continue. What? What are you talking about? What? 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 Is there, There's two uh, ways. I came up. Oh, that's this. where you. Came, no, that's where you came. No, from. I came up. I'm on another level. I'm on a completely different floor. I went up that ladder. Uh, this is where the boss was, and you went down the ladder to get that thing, and then you came back up again. So if you go down the ladder, it's what? a dead end. Oh. Right. It just. I think. Oh, I got confused. I, I thought I you, entered. I, I thought I entered a room. Killed the boss and immediately went down. <laughs> Because oh, the boss was okay. right over top of that the makes ladder. Sense. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Sorry, that confused me. Yeah, yeah. I I had thought it the ladder showed up. No. I it, didn't realize I went down it. Yeah, it automatically went down after you killed the boss because the, the ladder was right under the boss. Okay, so I missed that. I mean, there's nothing there, but why is there nothing there? There was something there before, wasn't there? You've never seen this screen before. But there was something blocking it. No, you've never seen this screen before. I'm this is confused. all behind that locked door you went into, this whole hallway. This is the first time you've seen any of this. Okay. That's the first time you've seen that healer in that room. Oh. It's the first time you've seen this ladder. I'm so confused because... It's because... But the, this room I've been in before. It's because... Wait a second. Okay. The ladder was under the boss. Oh, I see. So I went down. And it just automatically put you down. Okay. Yeah. That... Okay, that makes more sense now. So then there was nothing here, and that was a healer. Yeah. And then this is an empty room. Yeah. Okay. It was just, it just automatically I, put you down. It put me down, and I thought I went up. Yeah. It's probably... But this makes more sense now. Yeah, it would be confusing. So it might be better to move that ladder somewhere else, as opposed to being yeah. right under the boss. I was like, oh, this is very reminiscent of what I just did. <laughs> this hallway should have a different color for floors or walls. This one? Green and brown. It's fine. No, for the going up and down, I think. Oh, yes. Different different sections probably should, like different levels should have different colors. That'll make it easier. Okay, that makes more sense now. Yeah, and even this one might... Remember that, that game... Uh, what is it? And each, each hallway had a different color. What was that called? It's a Brazilian game. Oh, um... But yeah, he had different yeah. colored hallways and different colored floors. That's how you knew And you made it different. very easy to differentiate. You're kind of deadish. <laughs> he is kind of deadish. Unholy! Thank you, Vitoko. Yes. Where's in the... That's where it's See, Vlad will never use the ideas because then it wouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> True. No, it has to be a surprise. It's like those TV shows that run a long time, like, like um, Lost, where they're like, everybody's suggesting the, the end for the show, right? Mm -hmm. And then the writers are like, we're not using any of your ideas, but that kind of pigeons holes them into something. That is not one of those that's ideas. That's not one of those ideas, and they're left with kind of garbage. Well, that's why people are so disappointed with the end of Lost. Yeah, they had to come up with Because people called it, and they were like, oh, we think it's this. And they're like, no, 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 it's not that. And then it's it was. It's none of your ideas. It's like, well, that kind of leaves you with just bad ideas. Probably some of those ideas were pretty good. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, if people are suggesting things online, and... Oh, I knew I was going to do that. And then... Uh... If you use one of their ideas, they're going to go, oh, you copied my idea. I want, I want money. I want compensation. That, that was my idea. I love that uh, the switch is hidden behind the plants. I, 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 I hate how you have to do it so quick because it comes eh, back up so fast. It wasn't that quick. Uh, you have to be pretty quick. Vlad could have the game end with a message. Your something is in another castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be good. <laughs> Maybe a bit disappointing after you run through a hundred levels, barely surviving, and then you go, uh, get nothing at the end. Or you can just put a little sentence on the screen that's misspelled. <laughs> Congratulations. You win. That's it. <laughs> the something were the friends we made along the way. <laughs> so what is this? I feel like this is going to instantaneously kill me. Well, it's the only thing left. Because you're strong enough, you have that glove. 
Oh, that's why. Right? I didn't try the, it before. I just assumed it was deadly. It, it was like <laughs> the glove of strength or string glove. Yeah. Now we go down. Okay. Or um, also to prevent the confusion with the ladder, you could have him go down the ladder rather than have an instantaneous thing. Mm. Um. Oh. oh no! Oh, <laughs> that was quick. End of demo. But there's more Anything rooms. Here? It's not quite the end. Oh, uh, it's the oh, end. Of demo. It's the end. <laughs> yeah. So we thought saw all the thirty-five. Nice. I like it. So go back to that last room, uh, where you could push the the um, the block the block and try and push it the other way. reset perfect how far you can push it just to the end of the those okay. those arrows okay cool very good very nice looking yep yep uh i mean this is just the beginning and there's 35 levels so this is like a third of the way there oh wow Do you find it too easy too hard i mean you've made it no. all the way to the end um, on your second try no i don't think it was too easy the i mean they're easy to game some of the monsters because they just go straight for you and, yeah. and you basically just impale them on your sword <laughs> which is not so they can maybe go around you it's not bad for the starting monsters but like it, even the spiky ones the kind of slimy snaily spiky ones yeah. um they just kind of go straight for you so yeah the one um, i've seen in some games they bounce around a bit maybe that, where, that would be more challenging yeah if they move in a but pattern that they look great or I think in they're some really games fun. the enemy is like just above your sword Oh, I hate that. Those are the worst. <laughs> or just yeah. just below uh, below where you're shooting. Yeah. yeah. Needs more anti CB traps. I don't know. I don't know what that is. No. I don't know what a CB trap is. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. It does. Yeah. I mean, it, if you played any of the VHZC games, oh yeah, it, it this looks falls bad. right in line with it, and you feel right at home, like you're not confused. Like it's, he's translated his platformer to. This is 2D as well. Is platformer games yeah. perfectly into a three-quarter view. Mm. So it uh, looks really, really great. Mm -hmm. Excellent job, VHZC. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for letting us debut your game. Um, I, I'm guessing, are you going to be releasing this demo uh, on the forums for other people to play now? Or uh, what is more. the plan? <laughs> or are you just going to add some more? Yeah. Um, yeah, what's your what's your game plan for this? Let me load up our next game, which is Robot Finds Kitten. Oh, oh I found one. Oh. I'm not a robot. Oh, bye. Um, this is an interesting game. Yeah, he will. Release I will release it. it. Yeah. Awesome. So everybody else can play it. This game is eh, not really a game. I mean, it is a game, oh. but you'll see what I mean. Okay. Let me load that up. And waiting for it to stabilize the picture. Robot finds kitten 7800. Uh, so go to instructions. Okay. Robot finds kittens instructions. In this game, you're a robot. Hashtag. Your job is to find kitten, not a kitten, not the kitten. 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 Okay. But it's not capitalized, so it's not the kitten's name. It's just kitten. Uh, this task is complicated by the existence of various things which are not kitten. Robot <laughs> must touch items to determine... It, it's missing words. <laughs> must touch items to determine if they are a kitten or not. The game ends when robot finds kitten. Nice. While playing, use joystick, not the joystick, joystick. To move robot, fire button to abort game. Gotcha. Press fire button to continue. Okay. Um, this has a, this game has its own Wikipedia entry. Oh yeah. Not the seventy eight hundred version. Okay. Uh, it's a plethora of games. This okay. game has been ported to like fifty consoles. Okay. It's unbelievable. Let me read out. You can go for it. Is this is this like a game that people create to learn how to code? I kind of I think so. It's like okay. one of those games that people port just to do to it. To do it, yeah. 
It's been made for the 68,000 Amiga OS, Android, Apple II, C64, Clank, DOS, Debian, Dreamcast, Flash, Game Boy Advance, HTML5, Java, NXT, Nintendo DS, OpenGL, PHP, PHP2, Palm OS, PlayStation Portable, uh, Rainbow 100, never heard of that, Rockbox, Python, ONX, Sega Master System, nice. Second Life, uh, Second Life. Spectrum, <laughs> uh, Texas Instruments, Web 2.0, The Wii, The Zune, TI-80X and TI-86. Mm -hmm. So go for it. Start playing. Find your kitten. Or go to about. Oh, we'll oh I see. So you're the hashtag moving around in the middle there. Sounds like it needs a 2600 port. Oh my god. <laughs> I found the kitten immediately. That's the I know fastest. how to find kittens. <laughs> that was the kitten. That's probably the fastest game. All right, ever. your turn. No, Let's see. I have to read it. See if I can see if you can beat me. Oh my god, I won't. <laughs> Just look at the number of things on the screen. <laughs> Robot finds kitten. <laughs> By the illustrious Leonard Richardson, <laughs> copyright 1997. So that's when he was first okay. created. Written originally for the Nerth Pork Robot Finds Kitten Contest. Mm. That sounds like the contest was about Robot Finds Kitten. Uh, copyright 2004, 2005. Uh, this version had been exclusively prepared for the 2004, 2005, 7800 Homebrewer Palooza Contest. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Which one looks like a kitten? Um, oh, the heart. Let's see. A marijuana brown. <laughs> That's not a kitten. A willing ripe tomato bemoans your inability to digest fruit. <laughs> I'm a robot. Uh, you found the fabled America online disc graveyard. Uh, lovely. It's a big block of ice. Something seems to be frozen inside of it. An autographed copy of Primary Colors by Anonymous. Oh, what's beside it? This particular monstrosity appears to be ENIAC. The non-kitten item, like this, but with true and false, switched is false? Hmm. 50 Years Among the Non-Kitten Items by Android. Oh my god. It's the horizon. Now that's weird. A lone, forgotten comma sits here sobbing. That doesn't look like a comma. Wait, this isn't the poker chip. You've been tricked. Damn you, Mendez. A badly dented hi-hat symbol lies on its side here. That's hard to do. I guess it could be propped up against something. It's true. Uh, a symbol lying on its side is a tricky thing. It would have to be against a wall. Yeah. It's the embalmed corpse of Vladimir Lenin. <laughs> Not Vladimir Zuniga. It's a charcoal perget smoking away. Oh, my God gonna be the last thing yeah it's a cloud shaped like an ox it's a blatant plug for og vorbis <laughs> which is an open source uh audio uh compression um algorithm it's a cat five cable not a cat oh two more left which one should i pick the o with oh that looks like a cat so i'm gonna pick the non-cat oh, oh it's a kitten. you caught a kitten you found Aww. kitten way to go robot uh, maybe I can make a version using the penult engine. <laughs> that would probably be the best bet. Because it's very hard to do text on a 2600. <laughs> but actually, this wouldn't be too bad if you made sure... Let's do this again. Okay. Each of these things was on their own separate uh, horizontal line. Mm. Then you could do it on a 2600 without any problems, really. Yeah. You could do color for each one, different graphic for each one. Um, yeah, you could replicate this perfectly, actually. Yeah. There's all those text kernels. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you find a text kernel. I mean, these are pretty random. I don't even know if these are all ASCII, like that. I've never seen that before. It's nothing but a corrupted floppy. Coaster, anyone? <laughs> um, so, Robot Finds Kitten is a Zen simulation. Oh, my God. What happened? Did you press the other button? You Did pressed... I find the kitten? <laughs> no, you press the button, which, oh, which exits. Which one was the exit button? Uh, the red one. Oh, I hit the red one. Yeah. Let's try that. You don't don't touch that. the red one? What do I touch? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Roger Avery, Persona un famoso de la Estados Unidos. 
<laughs> a famous person. It's a crusty exoskeleton States. of an arthropod. Oh. Uh, written by Leonard Richardson for MS DOS. So mm -hmm. that was the original one. It's a free video game with an ASCII interface in which the user, playing the eponymous robot and represented by the number sign, or the pound sign, or the hashtag, must find kitten represented by a random character on a field of other random characters. Walking up to items allows the robot to identify them either as a kitten or any variety of non-kitten items, NKIs, with whimsical, strange, or simply random text descriptions. It's not possible to lose. Although there is a patch that adds a 1 in 10 probability that the non-kitten item killing the robot. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> oh, 1 in 10. But not this game, I don't think. Oh. That's a patch. Uh, Simon Careless has characterized Robot Finds Kitten as less a game and more of a way of life. It's fun to wander around until you find a kitten, at which point you feel happy and can start again. It's a porcelain kitten counter. Zero, 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 zero. Is this one of those 2K challenges? Uh, well, it was as part of a contest, but I don't know what the contest, like what the point of the contest was, whether it was a small game contest. I mean, it does use built-in ASCII characters, which are just probably randomized in the DOS game. And you're just moving around on a field. Mm. Small animation. A lot of text, though. A lot of text. Yeah. So you'd have to compress Random down text. that text. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Funny. But that's the game. Um, <laughs> I, I knew it would be a very small game. Um, so we would have lots of time to dedicate to the first game, which we've finished pretty quick. Um, and Scramble, okay. which we're going to try and finish, even though it's very hard. Scramble to the end? Um, I've done it. I have played to the end okay. on the 2600 version. Um, it's challenging, but uh, I think we could do it. It's only six levels. And we'll try our darndest to get to the end. So this is uh, Bob Tegger's Decrescenzo's game. Corrupt. And this one was uh, first posted in the Atari Age forums in 2012. And this version is from 2016, this mm. update. Okay. Um, it's a 48K game. Uh, I would list off Bob Tech Crescenzo's games, but there are a million of there them. There are many. <laughs> um, lots <laughs> of Pac-Mans. Um, let's see. Astro Blaster, Astro Fighter, Bentley Bears Crystal Quest. <laughs> Uh, what other? Scramble, Sirius, Space Invaders, Super Circus Arcade, um, Uniwar S, Galaxian, so many good ones. And we'll make our way through them one by one. <laughs> and this week we're playing Scramble. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, Bob, did you use the arcade code for this? That's a very good question. Okay, so let's play... Uh, kind of. Not the code, but I found the terrain tables. Nice. Ah, yes. I think we did ask him that in the interview, that he did use the mm -hmm. terrain tables. So, move the joystick, go back to those, and put it on easy. Easy? Because we want to try and make it to the end, and then... And then we'll see. We'll see if it's too easy. Uh, just one player. I think you keep going. Keep going. There oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Player one. Easy. Yep. Go for it. And the other bomb. So this is from an arcade game of the same name. And uh, let me read a bit about that. Scramble, uh, known in Japanese as Sukuranburu, is a horizontally scrolling shooter released in arcades in 1981. It was developed by Konami and manufactured and distributed by Lee Jack in Japan and Stern in North America. It was the first side-scrolling shooter with forced scrolling in multiple distinct levels, uh, which automatically um, progress. You're really not very good at this. <laughs> well, it's uneasy. Nobody's attacking you. So just True, avoid the, that's avoid the mountains for now. Oh, now you're in trouble. Shoot! Shoot them! Stop your bombing. Or press both at the same time. Yeah, it looks amazing. Oh, yeah. Really, really good. Um, and I've got the... A version from Champ Games up here. For the 2600. For the 2600, which is also amazing. So we've got two great versions of Scramble. 
And I'm gonna buy this one on cartridge. Oh, jeez, I wasn't. And my next. Uh, you can't shoot those. Oh no. no. Ah! Ah! Yeah, oh, you hit my the second goodness. one. Good job. I can't shoot them. Ah! Nope. Avoid. What is that? Oh um, my god. That's it. Oh my goodness, that was fast. <laughs> Don't miss the fuels. Yeah. Holy smokes. Okay, one more. Yeah. You, you play this more than I have. Yeah, you do have to hit the fuels. Yes. To keep your fuel up. So make sure you try and aim for those. Yeah, I wasn't doing too bad. It was a commercial success selling 15,000 arcade cabinets in the United States within five months, and becoming Stern's second best gallant selling game. The sequel was a more difficult Super Code Rock. Uh, Scramble was not ported to any major contemporary console or computers, but there were releases for Tommy Tudor and Vectrax. Oh, yeah. on Vectrex, scramble on the 2600, and scramble on the 7800. Uh, there's also an 8-bit version um, and a 5200-bit version. Um, I believe there was a VFT release as well. I, w I wish I had it, but I don't have it. Do I have? I have something like it. No, I have Defender. I have um, Defender, which is a side-scrolling wraparound game, not a forced Look move at the beat. fuel. You can't look at the fuel while you're trying to dodge these things. Zaxxon, as well, which is a forced scrolling game, but out much later. But I do not have Scramble. VFT. But it sounds like one I would definitely want to buy. Where's the kids mode nice. teddy bear feature, Bob? <laughs> there's a, a hint Atari 2600 dude says on the third level I like to stay as low as possible using, it helps a lot using the terrain to shield my ship oh crossbow is a super cobra BFD very nice how is it does it play well it's not just for kids anymore I've got the instructions here pointed out I guess I could fold them pretend they're like real instructions instructions. Bring new life to your 7800 Pro system with Pac-Man Plus games. Available only at the Atari game store. Pac-Man Plus brings arcade quality games home with all the action, challenges, and graphics you can find at your local arcade. Discover our range of games for the Atari 7800 Pro system. Pac-Man Plus, the arcade experience. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. He's got a logo for his name. I've never seen that before. It's not on his other... Did you give up that uh, that logo, Bob? It's kind of it's like an '80s futuristic retro logo where the C on on Pac-Man Plus is chomping down on the M. Yeah, you 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 are distracting me rather than Go helping me. Go to the bottom. Me. I have to get there first, so. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's a bit more room down there. Yeah. Good hint. And the fuel's down there. Yeah. Oh, that's going to make this much easier. Not really. <laughs> yeah, they're not even coming down there. Well, because they get blocked by the mountains. Oh. 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 One up too high. Oh. My turn. Yeah, your turn. <laughs> Give up the logo? Yeah, on the... Um, let me switch over to... Yeah, you wouldn't get far off one quarter on this game. <laughs> Get the, cat the cam. Cat cam? Where's the cat cam? There it is. There's the cat cam. There are no cats, mind you. Oh, there uh, is a cat. He's sleeping. One cat there. Mm. Right here. Pac Man Plus. Nice. C is chomping down on the M. Mm. So it was on this, uh, this ad for your games. Thought it was really cool. So, if you want to read about it, here we go. Where did you leave off? Or you have it? Nope. I haven't done any of that. 
All right, getting started. Insert the scramble cartridge into no, the Atari no, 7800. None of that. You mean the people watching the stream already know how to do that? <laughs> I um, think they know how to insert a cartridge. Okay, playing the game. Each round consists of five stages and a base or final stage. Destroy any targets on the ground or in the air. You can and should destroy rockets, UFOs, fuel tanks to give you more fuel bonus items, and the base itself at the very end. You cannot, however, destroy meteors and should avoid them at all costs. Each stage within a round challenges the player to a new type of enemy or terrain to maneuver. Stage 1 launching rockets, stage 2 UFOs and caves, stage 3 meteors, stage 4 launching rockets from tall structures, and stage 5 winding maze of buildings. Base, the base itself that you must destroy. Skill levels. As you pass each round of five stages and destroy the base, the gameplay starts over and the difficulty increases. Mm. Your ship burns fuel at a fast rate and the rockets, UFOs, and meteors become more aggressive. On the easy skill level, no rockets launch and your ship burns oh. fuel at a very slow rate. No rockets launch. Oh, okay. oh my god. Even on the stage four, I guess. Why aren't you using your brand new single... Oh, because I like this one. <laughs> I, I really like this one. We should pull um, it out, though, and play a little bit with the, with the uh, other one. I like the weight. The other one's nice. The, the it weight is. is good. The weight on that is good. Um, but I've, like, the other ones I have no problems with. I just, um, the way this sits on my lap, I don't, I have to hold the other one. Like, I have hand. to hold that one. It slides off my lap because oh. I can't sit straight like this, right. unfortunately. So that's why I complain all the time. And I use my... Well, it's upstairs now. I have to use my TV. Oh my god. I know they're hard. I have to use my TV tray for that reason True. because it, it doesn't sit evenly on my lap. So I need I need a desk, basically. This is a desk to play. I need a desk to play. But that's okay. Easy might be a bit too easy, but... We'll see. We'll see how far I get. So far, uh, I on the normal skill level, only two launching rockets can be on the screen at a time, and your ship burns fuel at a normal rate. The variation is equivalent to the Konami version of the uh, arcade game. And then on the hard skill level, four launching rockets can be on the screen at a time, and your ship burns fuel at a very fast rate. Ah, you made it. Hooray! Good job. So there's no oh. launching rockets here. No, yeah. which makes it a hell of a lot easier. Yeah. But you're, we'll not really, play it you're not really experiencing the game. No. I have to play it normal. On the hard skill level, four launching rockets can be seen on a screen at a time, oh, and your ship burns fuel at a very fast rate. Oh, this variation is equivalent to the stern version of the arcade, arcade game. So, the rockets are 50 or 80 points, depending if they're being shot or not. Yep. 100 points for the UFOs. Fuel is 150. Uh, the base is 800 points. And oh, sorry, not the base. I don't know what that is. I haven't seen it yet. Um, no. Uh, and the uh, I don't know. 800 points for one thing, and 100, 200 or 300 points for another thing, which I assume is maybe bases. I'm not sure. Extra turns. Get a bonus jet when ah. you reach 10,000 points. Strategies. In the UFO stages, move forward as close as you can and keep firing the laser at about middle of the screen. That should destroy most, if not all, of the UFOs. Don't forget to aim your bombs for the fuel tanks as well as on the train or you will run out of fuel. In the meteor stages, stay close to the train oh my and God. as far forward as you can. As far forward. Terrible. That's so tight. Hide low behind the mountains, then jump. Oh, I see. Across. You can play again. I'm reading. Bob, all your games should show that logo at the beginning when it pops up. Oh, I missed his... Somebody made that article for me. Oh, so you nice. didn't design that. And you had no say in that uh, that design. Yeah, it was nice, though. It's cool. Uh, train yourself to go after the fuel tanks, especially in the later rounds before the bonus items. At an average of 200 points, it isn't worth the 50-point increase over the fuel tank. Really? Sorry, what was that strategy tip? So train to go after the fuel tanks, especially yes. in the later rounds, oh. before the bonus items. Because the fuel oh. tanks are worth 150, it's not really worth going after a bonus item just for an extra 50 points, oh, is what no, you're saying. And you get fuel. Yeah. And then, um, the fact that you get 150 and more fuel becomes more and more precious as you advance. That makes sense. That makes sense. 
these these certain these certain levels with n nothing but rockets uneasy is not really it's not a challenge because there's nothing that's coming after you. It's like avoid the mountain. Oh, no. so, if I don't win on this one, I'm gonna play normal after this because it's really simple playing it easy. Pass the fuel. Oh, oh you did almost. <laughs> oh, I hate the meteors. Yeah, it makes sense to stay low and then jump across. Some of it gets really tight. Well, what they were suggesting is you stay for as far forward oh, as you can down forward. low, and then jump when you when you see an opportunity. Damn it! Because you'll kind of drift backwards, I guess. That makes sense. It is not easy. I don't think the easy level makes these any easier. Those aren't, no, because just because nothing's shooting at you, I don't think it I changes. I think stay back is, because if you're far forward, you can't dodge. Yeah, but dodge. The, the meteors don't get you. If you stay the, back, you if can you move stay, forward quickly. Yeah. No, if you stay forward, you have more time to jump over. I think that's the idea. You don't, actually. No? Because you're pressed forward. You can't like, move forward around it quick. There was a whole bunch, a whole genre of scramble games back in, uh, like, scramble light games back in the day. I remember Super Covert. Caverns of Mars 2. Caverns of Mars 2. I mean, I played Caverns of Mars, which was really fun and very challenging. Remember to shoot forward, too. Yeah, I always forget that. Um, Especially in the early level. So is Cavern of Mars 2 a side scroll game? Can't you use a difficulty switch to flip it to single button and audio fire as well? Auto fire. Oh, maybe. Is that in the instructions? I didn't see it in the instructions. These may not be the full, the full, full instructions. Doesn't say anything about that. Oh, the HZC posted uh, Night Guy oh, quest perfect. for something in the uh, forums. Awesome. So, definitely pick that up. Check it out. Lots of fun. Stay low. I, I took the arcade ROM, kept changing random bytes until I saw something change on the screen. That is when I knew I found the area, the ROM that held the terrain layout. Damn it. Then I mimicked the arcade routine to draw the arcade. Oh. Ah, you start at the top. Oh, I That's know. really annoying. This part is not easy. I don't know if this is a pattern. I think it is. It looked like it's a pattern. Oh, is it a pattern? Yeah. If it's a pattern, you should be able to just memorize it. Okay, my turn. I'm not playing easy. Okay, I need, I need the... Normal. So at least there's some rockets coming up. Because easy is a bit... At least it'll give some challenge on these levels rather than avoid the terrain. Are you? Alright. But it didn't crash. Oh, I'm so achy today. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I'm pretty good. Yeah, no, I'm achy. I took yeah? some Advil again, but. Yeah, my legs, for some reason, are very oh. sore. I, uh... I think what it did oh. is just made you aware of all the aches in your body that yeah. exist. <laughs> It just kind of intensifies the, the middle age aches, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like they're always there, but you just don't notice them until you apparently get a vaccination. Yeah, that's right. Ugh. I guess the rockets don't take off on this because it would just be abysmally hard. I think it would be. Maybe the later stages, I don't know. I think things just Damn get it. faster. 
It's so hard. It is hard. Let's get down there. I think that's why they say move forward so that you have more time to wait. But I don't know how easy it is to time that. I get it though. I couldn't go around fast because I'm already at the full extent. Oh my god, I didn't know I had an extra life. You want to go again? I do, but you can go. To hide the scroll Are line, we normal again? Was, Are we doing normal? You can do whatever you we'll want. Do Bob, why the border on this game? Oh, to hide the scrolling. That makes sense because things would pop on. Ah! They're so, all going up. I, I mean, that. you could put. Couldn't you put, instead of red, put black so that it still would scroll on the screen? Or is that to kind of mimic the borders of, like, the arcade cabinet? Kind of like how Activision hid the black lines on the left by putting lots of black lines. The very first not Atari Age card showed the terrain scrolling on and off the screen in jerky increments. Oh, so this was added after the, the red lines. Oh, that's cool. I didn't have black as a color. Oh, come on. I didn't oh. get any of the fuel. Still have some left. Whoa. That's too that's close. Mm. You got I plenty. Yeah, because on the um, 7800, you can't just choose from any color you want. You have to pick which colors in your palette that you want to use at any given time. On the 2600, oh. you can go, yeah, I want to put it. Oh, oh, too high, too high. James, do you have the Vectrek oh. version of this? I do. I have it right here. Scramble! I have every Vectrek scheme. Except Mr. Boston. And Minecraft. Or, um, Minecraft? Not Minecraft. What the hell is it called? Mine, mine, Mindstorm. Mindstorm, yeah. Two. Which, it's you know, two. both of them were not available retail. We still have to do a Minecraft show. Minecraft? Yes! Not a Minecraft, sorry. <laughs> You're confusing Backtrack me. Show? A Backtrack show. Well, I'm preparing. I have to upgrade my Backtracks first. Yeah. Whoa. So that it has clean audio. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Get um, and I want to get my light gun done at the same time because I'll be filming a TV screen for, mm. for both of them. So I might as well do the both at once, mm. or at least have one prepared. But I've got all the light guns now, so that part's good. And in the break, um, while we're off the air, yeah. I will be um, modding my. Charles Tweedy seems he might be interested in looking at doing something like his uh, VAT, V-A-T, for the Vectrex, but for the Intellivision. Oh, does that have a bad As audio? they share the same sound chip, basically. Oh, does it have bad audio, though, the Intellivision? Is it noisy? I don't know much about the Intellivision. Mm. I don't play it too much. No. So I definitely will, once I've upgraded the video. RGB. Yay! Oh, thank goodness. These rockets are going to continue to come You're better off being further forward sometimes. Yeah, because you're they go Because they go up behind you. Well, they kind of... It's kind of rain. I think so. Oh. Yeah, fuel. I think it's better to be further forward when, 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 you're, when they're really close to you. Uh, yeah. Because then they come up after rather than always being them. in your face. And, well, I don't know. Is one gonna kill me? <laughs> so far, so good. Being forward. Yeah. 
That one was gonna kill me. Yeah, that one was. Okay, the bomb was at the right time. This, you need to be forward and then go back constantly. Go forward as much as you can because you need to maneuver your ship. <gasps> Damn it! No! Why do I keep doing that? Luckily, it's my first death. Oh no, it starts at the beginning? Uh, nope. nope. It continues. Oh, good. Oh, no, it doesn't? No, no, yeah, no, it continues. It's, it started a little ways back. We still have this horrible part. Oh, it's so tight. Forward. There's nothing there. Let me go back. Oh, that is I just rough. go too far each time. Don't hit the button. You don't even need to hit... You don't even need to... Um, At certain points. At that point, there's nothing. So you might as well just... Concentrate on it. Concentrate on it. Like, nothing seems to be shooting at you. Vectrix Audio Tap. Yeah, Vectrix Audio Tap. I have one. Not I... talking about the buzz off. Oh, but the it, audio tap. But is oh. that... God it... damn it! Sorry. Is it not easy to uh, get a line out from the vector, uh, from the Intellivision, mm -hmm. when you mod it? Because it has a... It's not like uh, the Vectrex, so it has a built-in speaker. Mm. Um, this is just dodging. It comes out through RF. Right? I don't need to shoot here. It's just, you just need to be very precise with your movement. I'm going to die on this level. I'm not going to make it. I have to oh. move forward at that point. While dodging. Ugh! Start over. Do it again. I want to see you what? do it again. You got pretty far. What are they saying? I can't read it. Well, Pac-Man plus Atari H said lol. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's lolling at me? Yeah, I think so. Am I deaf? Yeah. Getting further, so that's what counts. Oh, once you've gone past it, you can't. Oh, I know you're. You can't you're, get it you're, anymore. You're, yeah, you have to get it from a distance, a little bit ways away. Yes, with a bat, for an Intellivision would give you stereo-like output, like it does on the Vectrex. More of a novelty, but I'm on board. <laughs> oh, of course. The um, RGB upgrades um, that you've installed, do they not uh, have an audio component that it taps into? Pac-Man Plus said, not laughing at you, James, laughing at what Cafe Man said. Oh, okay. <laughs> what did he say? It's okay to grab a 7800 pain line and throw it. Oh, okay. So th <laughs> that's what they're good for? Yeah. <laughs> I only have two of them, so even though I hate them, I'll never use them. I'm not going to destroy it. And then Crossbow said, no, no audio out of the RGB boards. Really? So is there anywhere to tap into the audio then? Or is it just... How do you even get the audio? When you do the upgrade. There must be a line. Somewhere. Like, or do you have no audio? That still has to be tapped separately and run, and run to the AV jacks. That's fine. As long as there's a way to tap it. Like this. Oh, oh my god. I don't know how that doesn't yeah. kill you. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh. Being f completely forward is not the solution. No, you have to kind of have space to move, I think. Yep. Again. Being forward, I'm wasting all my lives. Like you almost have to trigger them and then move back. True. It's the ones that are up high that are the real problem. Yeah, because you have no time to. Move. Oh. What? Is there a? Is there a safe spot? For rockets? <sighs> Probably. Yeah, I bet there's a memorized. A vat like Adam would grab the audio from three separate channels from the sound chip and clean up an amp. Oh. Let's see. Three separate channels. And it would have to. Um, it would have to combine them. 
I guess you could pan one to the left, one in the center, and one on the right. Interesting, yeah. That would be good. I look forward to that. There's a mono audio line you could tap. Okay, where did the RF mono So you're not reading this out for me. What? I'm, Not I'm right playing. now, but when I was playing, there's like information. Like, I was, I was reading screen. it out, but I started playing. What are you saying? I was reading everything that was down to the bottom of the screen. Okay. I got to playing Penalt. It might be the most inclusive game on the system. It ha Penalt has a huge amount of depth. Like it's it's crazy how much is going on in Penalt. Um. I'm a beta tester for Penalt. I can't wait to show you guys. Oh yeah. The game. It is, it is amazing. Unbelievable. There's so much in that Which game. Which reminds me we have to play it this weekend. Do we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to get further ahead. I think being completely back on the screen won't kill you. They always trigger ahead of you. Love the other gender type. Wish that was kept in Ultima 4. Mm -hmm. Was there one in Ultima 3 for other? I don't remember that. There was in Ultima 3, wow. And they didn't continue that to Ultima 4, that's surprising. I always thought uh, River Raid was a vertically scrolling version of this. Yeah, it is. Like, you've got the fuel. It's got things shooting at you. Yeah, you've got things that move. You've got static things. Um, obviously, there's a bit more variety of stuff in this than River Raid, but yeah. Oh. Ooh, ho, 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 that was very close. We need some fuel. Carl G, yeah, it was not Ultima 3. Yeah, it's... it's Oh, oh, it's just a little too high there. Almost made it. Oh. Yeah, penalt. No, 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 it starts immediately. I hate that. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh. I can't get Yeah, penalt is very, glasses. very much like <laughs> Ultima 3 in the fact um, that you you don't type things to okay. talk to people. You just select. You just talk to them once and they give you info. Oh, gotcha. Because yeah. in Ultima 4, you're like, job, help. Mm -hmm. And you can talk and say a lot to them. But I mean, that, there's no keyboard for it. The 2600. Not a full keyboard, anyway. I'm sure somebody will eventually come up with <laughs> as an add on. That's true. Some multiplexing crazy thing that uses both the joystick ports. Because I mean, the keyboard, like those, those keyboard keyboards, keyboard controllers, they had. 3 by 6, right? Is it 3 by 6? Yep, I think so. So that's 18 on each. Yeah. That, Double that's it. The whole, yeah. That's the whole I keyboard. still think, whatever you call it, the um, cell phone uh, keyboards. Oh. Yeah, you could do that way, too. Uh, I forget what you call that, but... Um, uh, T9. Yeah, you could do do it not that way as well. That you go, it's like A B C is one key, yeah. D E F is one key, exactly. Like something like that. Yeah. And that'll be fast enough. Yeah. Or you do an on-screen thing, which is which is fine as well. I must say this is an excellent oh, version of Scramble. Oh, it's so great this game. Yeah. Some of the colors don't play well with. Come on! It's a little, a little, a little muddy. When there's a blue background. That's just because I have SVD or GB. Or just like the purple and pink. Just very greedy on SVDO. Oh, and the blue. Blue and green. I wish, I wish <laughs> there was an RGB for 7800. Uh, Pac-Man Plus. Okay, okay. so oh. my screen is small on my device and it keeps looking like you guys are saying peanut instead of penalt. <laughs> it's the Canadian accent, what can I say? <laughs> what? It sounds like we're saying that? Uh, it must be translating it. Oh, f 
funny. Oh, it keeps looking like, or maybe looking. Oh, screen is small, so it's yeah. crushing it. I mean, it does look very sim similar to that. Yeah. How far can you invade our scramble system? Okay. Uh, oh, and plus cart, though I don't have one. The Encore only not, you know. It's a big game. It's 128k. I cannot. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't work on my Harmony Encore, because there's some sort of conflict between the Harmony Encore and large games and modded systems. It just freaks out. Um, but Batari is looking into it. Um, I haven't heard anything back from that. Hopefully he'll... Um, give an update to the Harmony Encore. It'll make it work. It just, uh, it just crashes, starts flipping out. An RPG about a peanut would be cool. <laughs> about a peanut. Better, Mr. Peanut. He used than, to have a um, monocle and a hat. That's right. Well, he might be infringing. Yeah. Might have to uh, give him a different name. What name does he have? It's just Mr. Peanut, right? Oh, he's just Mr. Peanut. I call him Sir Peanut. He's got a monocle. I was too squished. I was, no, I was squished. Uh, run! Run! I hate that! thought they killed off Mr. Peanut last year. Did know. they? I don't know. Just Did a they? marketing gimmick, and then they brought in Baby Peanut or something. I don't know. We don't watch TV that has commercials. Uh, I oh. think he's still on the um, packaging, though. What are you doing? I'm trying to get down as fast as I possibly can. I should put it back. It's easy. It doesn't help in this. It doesn't help in this level. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it makes no difference. And it doesn't help in the maze. Oh, it makes no help. Uh, yeah, exactly. And those are the things that I'm having Nutty trouble with. Nutty quest. Yes. Nutty quest. Yeah. I feel like eating peanuts now. Oh, well, we do have some. Some yummy, yummy roasted peanuts. <laughs> I think your planters can I'm gonna stay back. Oh, I see. You know what? Yeah. You stay back. Yeah. And they take off at a very distinct Pattern. distance. Yeah. So in the maze area, I'm gonna just, just do the next one. But if you're up high, that's a problem. Yeah. You wanna be down low so that they go up and ahead of you. Yes. Yeah. Or is it the distance between you and them? I don't think so. I think it's a I think they're taking off at it. Predetermined if I'm way rate. up here. I don't think it makes any difference if you're low or high. No? Nope. I think they just always take off at exactly the same time. Mm. That's what it seems like to me. But someone in the chat might know better, but it just seems to be. I bet Bob would know. <laughs> I, I don't think they sense you. I think they just take off. Mm. Uh, nope. Not, they don't just take off because if I'm forward. They take off early. No, I don't. No, they don't. You can get past them. You can get past them. In the Lies. maze. In the maze, they were killing me. Pac-Man Plus says it's slightly random. So oh, it's God. not really, it's not really it's sensing you. Great it's to just, hear. <laughs> just. Oh, it was beeping. Oh, no. Oh, good. That one, no. Come on. Yes. Another one, just for good measure. Yes. Just keep getting them. No good Hooray! stuff. Hooray! So I'm going to stay back. I, I I do think staying back. Like, yeah, they see? almost hit you, but still. But when they're low, I need to go forward a bit. Yeah. See? Yeah. Because not all of them come up, too. No, only two at a time. See? See? Nice. Yes. That is the way to do it. Yeah, I think being back is better, although it does all continually seem like they're about to hit you. Doesn't it? Sure it? Does. No, see? You're fine. It's just when they're not at the same level as you, that's a problem. But you can get down and around them. How did that not I kill you? How how did that shrapnel not okay, now I gotta destroy. go forward far forward as possible. Go back. Get down so fast. Forward, back. 
forward. Yeah, I have to time it so that. <gasps> oh wait, oh, the Konami's not a flow-through thing. <laughs> this, oh, but you start here at least. Right. No, a little bit sooner. You have to shoot it a little bit sooner, I think. Above the Konami. That's oh. as far. Uh, do I have to go around it and then go down and bomb? Then go down. So hold back. And oh yeah, yeah. no. I'm gonna run out of fuel. <gasps> That's the problem here. Oh Damn no! It. Well, I have full fuel again. <laughs> That's a good thing. How do you do this? I think you need to. There. Oh, I have oh. to save it. Just think... save my bombs. Yeah. That's how you do it. You do have to. Congratulations, you completed your duties. Good job. Good luck next time again. So I played the normal level. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness. Was it normal or was you it? Got to the end. Good job. Woo! Good job. So this should be on the next difficulty level? Yeah. Well when you said we, you wanted to get to the end, is that what That's the, end? the end? That's the Six killing levels. the base. So yeah. not necessarily going through like eight okay. iterations of no. it continually getting harder. Okay. <laughs> but we will play on the hardest oh, level. Oh, we will. Yeah, just yeah, Just to yeah. see how hard it is. I like to, I like to see. It's good to play on the, the easy challenges. level and then the hard one. Yeah. And then a normal one to actually play. Well, if we're going to, if we're continuing to play, I'm getting more beer, so. Okay. I know this doesn't look like beer, but that's what it is. It doesn't look like beer? It's red beer. It's red beer, yeah. Awesome game, Bob. Oh my god. It's so good. The controls are amazing, um, the visuals are amazing, the sound is amazing. Um, so if you like Scramble, I would highly recommend this or the 2600 version. Um, John Champo's version is incredible as well. He has been able to translate it to the 2600 incredibly. By like, given the number of things that are on the screen on the 2600 version, it's... Oh my God. <laughs> It's outstanding that he's, he, he was able to create create the game, especially with all the terrain. And he's using a um, play field, four pixel play field, single pixel play field, moving in chunks of four. because I know more tricks now. Yeah. Like how to trigger these, like stay, staying back. Totally fine, right? Yeah. Unless they're lower, and then you kind of get forward a bit. But once they get closer to you, you stay back. Mm. Oh, that one disappeared, bug. <laughs> Unless I shot it. You might have shot it and it just There's still explode. no explosion. Still done. To reissue it. Recall. <laughs> just kidding. Go! That was very close. Go, 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 go! Damn it. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> yep. Bug. I just didn't start off. And if you notice, you can't go, f you go back at the exact same rate yes. as the background. So as soon as you passed it, you can go back. And that's what you should do. Go forward as fast as possible, and then just go back. Oh. Is this one faster? I don't know. That's crazy. That's rough. That's rough. Well, that was a good round. Yep. Okay. Very Are we good. Are going to try hard? Um, might as well. Yep. Yep. Okay. I will try it. I'm not expecting to be very successful, but let's see. Oh, my Atari Age Forum username is T Man Gaming Zero Three. I don't recognize that name. Oh, I know Bernetti? you on yeah, I yeah. know you on the channel here. 
Imagining, imagine each game in Penult upgrading the hardware. Is that Konami sign on the last level? All, all versions. I don't remember it saying that. Oh, Pac-Man Plus. So it's, yeah, it's like, he, uh, when I was reading through the oh forums... Oh my god, I'm dead. <gasps> I oh. ran out of fuel because I wasn't getting all of them. You almost have oh to get god. all the fuel. Okay, I have to be very careful. When I was reading through the forum and the development of this game, he did change the name on the, on the title screen. Um, but I don't remember him changing the name at the end of the game. Might be what you be, might be thinking of. I mean, this was quite a number of years ago, 2012. What, the Konami? Yeah. No, that's that's in the, that last level, the Konami at the top of the building. Yeah, right? somebody said. Right. Yeah, is that on all of them? Yeah, and it is. All the Konami ones, I was saying. Well, he's saying in all the versions of this game, instead of the time of the versions. Or maybe he's talking about all of the arcade versions. It feels fine now. No, it's going down super fast. Oh my god. It is. It's crazy. Oh, oh you my missed god. both of them. Oh Here my god. Here comes more fuel. You have to get this one. And there's two more. And they'll be probably like a tank. Oh. Wow, the fuel is... Your ship needs repair. <laughs> it needs to get a better oh fuel system. Oh my god. Probably almost oh, no. 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 Probably no. almost all of them. I could probably skip a couple, but oh my god, how do you oh there's two. Bomb 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 bomb. It's like trying to focus on the fuel and those guys at the same time. Yeah, this one's gonna be a hard level to pass. Pretty rough. Bomb 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 bomb. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to dodge things. I just keep bombing. I know, just I wish it had auto fire actually. This really does seem like something you could have seen in the arcade. VHC, I love the old games logic. Need some fuel? Just blow some up. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make any sense <laughs> whatsoever. If you had to pick it up, that would make more sense. But yeah, but that's too challenging. Yeah. It's almost like it can pick up the the vapors. The, that's what the I've The fuel vapors when um, floating upwards after you explode the fuel. Station. I think that's how I've explained it before. Have you? <laughs> In one of the shows. It's called trying to rationalize video game logic. <laughs> Don't bother. Don't bother. <laughs> uh. Crespo says, James, if you didn't see it earlier, the audio can be tapped from the Intellivision right where it enters at the ARF modulator and then route that to the RGB output. Okay. Uh, the RGB board has a audio input on it. I mean, it doesn't matter. You just root it to where your output is. Um, the last... The RGB on my 2600 has a nice cable that has, combines, it's like an eight pin DIN. It combines the video and audio together. So it all comes out one wire. It's very... It's like a little bit lower. It's hard to time it sometimes. Especially when it feels close to you. Not doing too bad. No, you're if you get good. most of the fuel, you're okay. You're gonna be fine. I started that game off and I didn't get any of them. And I just died instantly. I was like, oh, that's yes, gonna be a problem. Good. Yeah. <laughs> this is still hard. I'm, I'm kind of messing up. Uh, Crossbow says, but you use the component output on your 2600. I thought. Uh, right now I can use both. What? I'm pressing up and it wasn't moving up. Um, the component seems to be a touch clearer than the RGB um, and and I'm and I also have an additional audio output as well 
Like that 2600 has so many outputs. Mm. It's crazy. It's got composite out, mm. RF out, RGB out, component out, audio within the RGB out, and separate audio out, stereo. Here for Night Guide, did they cover it already? Yes, it was the first game of the night, so you can rewind the playback, either now or after we finish the show. Um, it's a fairly short. Really good TIA audio for this. Really good TIA. Um, yes, this is available in the Atari Age Store uh, when it reopens. Um, and it will be. Um, it'll be open soon. Atari Age Store. What do you think of my penalt series idea? Oh, I think I missed that. The peanut? The peanut series <laughs> idea? Do you have RCAs for the component out there? Uh, what I have is no, no. a triple no. quarter inch jack. No. And, uh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. So it has um, the three color streams on each of the pins or the each of the nodes of the triple uh, or is it eight inch? Eight no quarter inch. Eight inch, sure. Sorry. That'd be very strange if I had quarter inch. 2600 RGB I did have all the outputs as well, including S video and component. I installed the quarter eight inch headphone audio out and RCAs, but the board to solder on them from the default kit doesn't include the vias for the audio on the eight pin din. No, I didn't use the default kit. It is kind of a weird kit. And I first had that installed, but oh it like outputs one thing and it outputs the audio separately, then it combines them into the separate chunky chunky. No, I'm good. You're good. I I bite it. Can I play one more. <laughs> so um, anybody looking to do RGB for an Atari 2600, I would not using the ETIM RGB board. I would not use the built-in combiner, weird thing. Take a look at Nathan Strum's upgrade on my 2600 in the Atari Age forums. Under the uh, zero-page homebrew club, and he, I think it's there, and he outlines every step, and it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful job he did, and I would definitely recommend reading that and following along with that doing upgrades for it. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous upgrade. And the components he used for it are solid. They're so solid. Um, yeah, we've kind of done 2600 and 7800 going back and forth, because then we just can stick to one system. Makes it easier. Plus, you know, if there's a crowd of 7800 people, they can watch the whole show and not be like, ah, 2600 games. <laughs> and the 2600 people are like, ah, oh, I don't have a 7800. Uh, I don't want to see these. So I just, um, just settled into that. And it kind of works. It's nice to have some variety of game styles too. So. Yeah. And I'm really, really enjoying the 7800 games. Because they're kind of the games you can make on the 7800 are kind of the next gen yes. games that don't, a lot of them don't work well on the 2600 or really hard to accomplish. I mean, obviously, this one with John Champo's magic, he was able to make this work, but some of the other games, like, um, are just really, really hard to do. I was, dying. I was dying from fuel anyway, so it wouldn't have helped me. Well, 7800 don't do games. <laughs> What's the law for? The long link is the RGB 2600. Uh, I did show in the back of it. Oh, cool. That is very long. If everything goes according to plan, uh, Night Guy. Um, oh, what is the CD? So many Night Guy games. Uh, Quest for something? Will be released on cartridge this year. Check. 
champ is a genius. He is really good at envisioning what can work on the 2600 in a way that's convincing. That was dead. Champ's old PC games are the internet DOS game archive. Or on the internet. Castle Days. Oh, excellent. Yes. Ooh, that'll be something to look forward to. Excellent. Scramble. Super awesome. Love it. All the games tonight. That's a really fun game. You just want yeah. to keep playing it. You it's do. just so challenging. It's because there's a lot of variety with it. And, and with the levels. You're never yeah. on a level too long. Yeah. Um, and every level is like, I know I can pass that. If I just yeah. try a little harder. <laughs> if, I push, if I push a little bit more. Yeah. Um, so we played Night Guy, Quest for Something. Oh, you're leaving? No. Bye. Here, here. Oh, she's oh, getting the cats. Upstairs. Oh, my kittens. We fl shake the shake the treats. No, he's coming. He's coming back. Uh, we played um, Night Guy Quest for Something, uh, the first bit of it, um, which is now released in the Atari Age forums. Yes. It's Hi. awesome. Hi. It's a nice addition to the Night Guy series. The Night Guy series. And VHZ sees a um, bundle of games. It's awesome. Um, when do you think Quest for Something will be available on cartridge? <laughs> That is the funniest question I constantly read in the forums Yeah. and on Facebook. Somebody releases like the earliest work in progress And they're like, game. I want the cartridge now. Where can I buy this on cartridge? <laughs> yeah. Like, he just started making it. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. But, but I can eventually. understand like yeah. their, their want for it. Yes. They're like, oh, I want this now, yeah. now on cartridge. Um, it's just so funny. Hit the bell. Oh, thank you, Dan. Um, when do you think? Oh, I hope so. Yes. Um, then we play Robot Finds a Kitten, which mm -hmm. is a game. It's interesting. More of an experiment. More, more of like more a teaching. A teaching game. Oh, you can't see that. You can't see that. Here, there you go. And Scramble, which is awesome and definite must buy for sure. So that'll be on my, my list. Yes. It is on my list. It is on your list. For yeah. uh, the next games I'm mm -hmm. going to buy. Um, and uh, we also gave a little hint, and I think there's enough people here that weren't here at the top of the show. Are you going to play it again? I'm going to play it again. Ooh. Sneak preview for the people uh, on Twitch of what's happening next Saturday. Um, and I played this at the top of the show, but a lot of people missed it. So here. That's right, Atari Age Day is on May 1st, Saturday, next Saturday, not tomorrow. Next Saturday, May 1st, uh, we're going to be unboxing all the new Atari Age games. Yes. Uh, did you see VHZC's game in there? Yes, VHZC's game is in there. That is exciting. Uh, games like... Okay, uh, okay, food for you. Miss Galactopus, Avalanche, Zookeeper, Canada Clash, Daredevil, Deep Stone Catacomb, Hugo Hunt, Ninja Sky and Low Res World, that's VHZC's. Pit Cat, Pan Panic Room, Robot City, The End, Tower of Rebel, Venture Reloaded, Adventure 2XE, Dragon's Cash for 7800, Magical Fairy Force for the 5200, Scramble XE, uh, Rebooted, Last Strike, Brawn and ba Brains, and Xenon 2, the last four for Jaguar. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be unboxing all of those games and playing a bunch of them and talking live via video with a ton of developers. That's awesome. That's really good. It's going to be like four or five hours. Oof. It'll make up for the short <laughs> show today, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. It is short. Yep. Um, so you don't want to miss that. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're going to be giving away games as well. Mm. Some of the new games. So I don't know what uh, we're going to have to think like of. Giveaways. Somehow, some sort of contest. Yeah. That's 
that people can participate in through the chat yeah somehow yeah you can do that yeah. you can have people the um, first person to answer something type uh, it in or or, or to even type... even have a have a um what do i want to say a draw and just have people if you want to enter the draw you put your name in and that's what that's what other sites that's do. That's so hard to manage. It, I don't have time for that. No, but doesn't don't you have the software? Do no, something? I don't. Oh, okay. It's never mind. Not easy. Okay. It's not easy. Trivia yeah. chat contest. Yeah, a trivia chat contest would yeah, be good. Yeah, maybe we'll we'll figure you know, something out. Mix it up. Maybe the developer can say, ask a question, and the first person to answer it. Yep. Jeopardy you know? style. Yep. Yeah. And the good thing is, well, some people might have pre-ordered some of these games, but. Yeah, they might want two copies or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'll talk with Al about it, and uh, mm -hmm. we'll find out something. But we'll have some sort of giveaway of something. Of something. Cool. Um, probably the games. Yeah. Um, answer in the form of a question and stuff. That's yeah. right. You have to put a question mark or it doesn't count. So if the first person doesn't put a question mark and the second person does, the second person wins it. Uh, will they open the Atari 8 store then? Yes. That's when the Atari Age store opens, so you oh, can buy nice, all the games. Nice. So it's going to time up with the opening of the Atari Age that's, store again. That's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, answer? <laughs> Question mark? Uh, Who is LeVar Burton? No. Who is LeVar Burton? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Free games. I'll be there. <laughs> that's why you want to be there. Uh, Magical Fairy Force for the 5200. Yep. That's one of the games that's being released such a good game we yep. played that i know we tested that out it was a really fun game i'm really yep. looking forward to playing and that we'll again. be uh talking yes. with ryan uh whitmer as oh, well okay. live, who made uh magical fairy awesome. force yeah. awesome along with uh, a ton of other people mm -hmm. um it's gonna be a lot of fun um i have to get my 52 up 5200 up and running <laughs> make oh, sure it's working to make sure you can it'll be through, with through it. rf yeah well so it'll be it's a little something. it's something a little fuzzy yeah. hopefully not too bad we'll yeah. see it'll look authentic run, that's i'll have okay. to run it through a vcr and yeah. then out and in through the <laughs> through frame meister yeah because oh. i have to convert rf to yeah. uh, composite speaking of vcrs we were watching the last best of the worst send on... it to me crossbow i'll have to yeah. overnight ship it you'll have to do it in one day you yeah. have to overnight ship it back again Go ahead. Best no, of the worst. Best of the worst. Yep. Uh, what is it? Red Letter Media. Yep. And they were playing. They were playing just terrible old black videotapes. As they do. And one of them actually died in the VHS machine as they were watching. Oh, it, it. ate it. Yes. It ate it, and it was hilarious. Yeah. And then, and I, yeah, that's when you said VHS, there running it through a, the VHS machine. It just there was a video of that. on how to uh, prepare for a funeral. Yeah. So and it died it in the ironic. process. It was yeah. very, very funny. Oh, there's a I UAV digress. for the 5200. See, I don't play my 5200 much, but um, mm. is it easy? It's probably the same UAV that you can do to an 8-bit um, system, since they share a lot. Mm. I'm guessing. Well, the cats play the games. Oh, we will get the treat. So we have our treat delivery system where he, he hits the bell. So, I don't know if you heard the bell sh going. Don't do that. He'll expect treats. Oh, that's true. Um. So if we can hook this up electronically to something. Oh my gosh, that would be hilarious. Um, and it would react in a game. Yeah. Then like a fire button or something. Oh, that would be funny. But it would have to be like a turn-based game. So every time he presses a button, he like moves forward one, yeah. one step and fires his gun. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be very funny. Bell time. Already, we already did bell time. He's, <laughs> bit, he's had enough treats. Vroom. Oh, vroom. He could... Go ding, 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 yes, ding, ding. Yes, yes. Make yeah. the car go. Oh my gosh, that would be oh, hilarious. Oh, yeah, you could hook it up to a car racing game. Yeah. And how many times you can press the button within like a minute. Yeah. Ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding. And, and it would be distance. That's that's a game. And you'd have to be funny. feeding him treats or not feeding Yeah, but he'll treats. hit it multiple times for one treat. So you can yeah. get him going. That's true. He'd be like, bing, 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 bing. Where's uh, my treat? I don't have a Jaguar, <laughs> but we'd be showing videos of the Jaguar. Or make a, get a game called Kitten Fine Robot. Because the Jaguar is like $300. <laughs> and I... I just don't have one. <laughs> I've never, uh, I've never really looked into getting a Jaguar. Mm. So no, I don't have a Jaguar, unfortunately. Um, or make a game called Kitten Find Robot. That's what I just said. Oh, yeah, very cute. Or very I ran. Cute. They can play it. Yeah, I ran. Um, Anything involved? Is time Al and jump going is to be hard. showing the Jaguar <laughs> games? Al, Al's, Al's not going to be here. <laughs> mm. Al will be at his house, mm. and he'll be, uh, we'll be doing video chat with him. 
the top of the show. He could, for him well, to he could show it. the Jaguar in the background if he has a TV screen he can run it off of. I guess. But just a little a little yeah, taster because yeah. you can't run it through here, unfortunately. No. no. No, we, we have so? videos of all okay. these. We can show the videos. That's true. Yeah. That's very yeah. true. Anyway, that's enough about that. Uh, we'll be uh, doing that on Saturday. Yay! Um, so that's exciting. a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I have a week. Good luck to me. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh, highlighted there. That's better. So thanks for tuning in, mm -hmm. everybody. And we'll be back on Tuesday with some 2600 games, maybe? Things have really slowed down in the forums. Nobody's making any games or not even updating their games. What wow. is happening? Is the sun shining everywhere? I think it must be. I think people are like, holidays. Oh. They're all back to work. Or they're... some people have gotten a bit of a lifting of restrictions in some places. Yes. And they're they're not, they're, they're out That's actually it. like socializing with people. Everybody's got their shots and they're out. Maybe. Some of them. The some of them. They're not like, happening in Canada. What was it? It was like 50% but... of the U.S. has their first shot. I know. That's crazy. Yeah. So I think that's it. They're like, we're Maybe. free. Yeah. We're free. Some, some people. And it's like 20% uh, of both. It's like huge numbers. Yeah, that's really like big. Like one in five. Much bigger They're compared outside. to Canada. They're outside. Spring plus shots yeah. equals nobody working on yeah. games. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It'll calm down. Yeah. The heat will kick in and then the air conditioning will come on and everyone will be back inside. So I wonder it's if it'd good. be quicker for me to send my 5200 for you to use instead. I don't know. I wouldn't want to pay for shipping. Um... That's the be, problem. They're this big. Yeah. They're this big, the 5200s. Yeah. They're like four foot by three foot. Yeah. The big flap that has nothing in it. Um, I'll test out my 5200. One of them doesn't have a sound chip in it, but I do have three of them. So I'll test out the other one. Uh, only need the bottom shell and the main board. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's funny. Just ship the board. And yeah. I'll put the board in mine. It's true. Atari 5200. Yeah, because yeah. we have an Atari 5200. We have 8-bit... There's 8-bit games, 2600 games, 5200 games, 7800 games, Jaguar games. Mm. So all of them. All of the... Except Lynx. Come here, come there's no here. new Lynx games that are being released. Uh, that's what Al sent me to fix his. That's <laughs> funny. So he just sent you the board. That's much oh. cheaper. Yeah. A bit more dangerous if you don't it pack it well. It is dangerous, yeah. 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 Anyway, enough blabbing. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, we'll be back on Tuesday mm -hmm. once again with more games. And then next Saturday, mark it on your calendars. Yay. Make sure you also follow the Twitch channel so that when we start the stream, it'll pop up on your phone or your computer or whatever. Um, I want to see the 2600 port of my Cybermorph. Mm. Um, so thanks, I O I O. Iopta? Lopta? Is that an L? That's Lopta? a bad font. I need some <laughs> serif fonts here. Yeah. That's a sans serif. Is it Iopta or Lopta? Lopta. I bet it's Lopta. Oh, it's all lowercase, right? Yeah. And I would be Lopta a lower... with an L. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Oh, no, it's not all lowercase. Okay. But yeah. That one is. Yeah. Uh, Lopta, Crossbow, Mike Soul, Dan ABC, Pack Rat VG, Metal Lunar, uh, Arena Foot, Gray Defender. Uh, you can. You can do that now. No. Uh, Vitoko Vita at C, thank you for sending us your game. It was super, super awesome. Looking forward to playing more levels when you've got it done. Arena 20, uh, Arena Foot, I already said. Atari 2600, dude. Who else? Pac Land Guy. Pac Man Plus. <laughs> <laughs> two packs. Excellent. Uh, Nutty 03. Lots of people Carl in the G. chat. So Kathy Man 2 d was in there. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. You probably mentioned already. I did. Carl G. Oh, I think that's it. Kathy Man 2 d I think we caught them all. That's it. Yes. Unless somebody added their names at the bottom. Uh, no. Yeah. 2600 was built in a 6507. Yes. And so that's it for us. And we will be back on Tuesday, same time. Playing the Night Guy Quest demo right now. It's Excellent. awesome. It is awesome. Have fun with that. Yeah. And we'll see you guys on Tuesday, 6 p.m. Yes. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Have Bye -bye. a good weekend. Have a good weekend.